Welcome to the Nerdery. My name is Lucians, and this is going to be a unpackaging for Wormwood. It was a Kickstarter campaign that I um, backed, and they were successfully funded. <clears throat> Have some of their information here. So it's actually Wormwood Magnetic Dice Tower System. Unfortunately, I didn't have the uh, the money or the resources to to get the full dice system, which would have been awesome. And um, as always, I'll put down in the description a link, not only to their Kickstarter campaign, so you can check that out, but uh, I believe they have a store up as well. But they're actually Word Wormwood Gaming. Um, but I was able to back with uh, with um, twenty five dollars, which enabled me to select a um a um what was the name of it i was actually able to get one of the um goals one of the uh rewards but it's in here so let's check it out so and let's see sliced open nicely so so here we go, here's Wormwood Quality Gaming Supplies. So here's sales at wormwoodgaming.com, custom at wormwoodgaming.com, press at wormwoodgaming.com, and giving at wormwoodgaming.com. And that would be at wormwood, wormwoodgaming.com. So this is really cool. Um, I looked, uh, prior to starting the video, I looked and they created three um, campaigns on Kickstarter. I know this one was successful. So, Craftsman's Promise. There's only one acceptable outcome for our craftsmen. A product that they can take personal pride in and absolutely satisfied client. If you are unsatisfied with your product for any reason at all, we will fully refund or replace the item free of charge. We always guaranteed our products and we will always pay for shipping. For help with any quality issues, contact us at promise at wormwoodgaming.com. What really kind of inspired me to back this campaign was, well, basically the whole presentation package of Wormwood. Not only is it gamer paraphernalia, especially to do with dice, I love dice. And um, But watching their video, you could see the pride that they took in not only creating the campaign, but in their product. And, it, and I'm really excited to see what it looks like because it, it looked really high quality and the uh, individuals behind it, um, you could tell that they, they really had a passion for their company for their campaign for their product so many thanks to all our backers uh, looks like founder 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 co-owner workshop manager custom workshop apprentice journeyman dice vault master that's what I received at dice vault uh, journeyman personal tray master I was really wanting the tower in the tray but I'm I'm happy with receiving a dice vault so this, this is awesome. So there's a thank you, and I might put that up there, set that aside. And what is this? Okay, Eastern US and Southeast Canada. So red oak, red oak, that's what I selected. Oh, that is really awesome. That is really cool, it kind of shows where the red oak or the material that is made of a very popular wood for cabinetry and furniture during the late 80s and early 90s. This is the wood of middle class America, American childhoods. Glossy polyurethane coated floors and cabinet make this the wood of the people. His popularity is well earned. It's handsome and works easily. So that's really cool. I wonder if all, oh, cause they have a multitude of wood to choose from. I was looking at it earlier and some of them are awesome. There's like a a flame type one. I for, I'll have to look again, but it was it was gorgeous. It was expensive, but it was gorgeous. So this is really cool. I like that. And this is what was making all the noise that oh my goodness. Oh, that is awesome. So it's two 
D6s, and I don't know if you can quite see it, but it's their um, logo on the dice. Rangers of Wormwood. That is really awesome. 2015. And it's like their crest on there, which is an awesome crest. If they don't have shields of their crest up at their um, their headquarters or in their shop, they really should make some shields because that is awesome. And it's kind of like a, a pearl looking. That is really cool. That's an eight. So I don't, I don't rem I just remember you know pledging the 25 for the uh, dice vault and this this is a surprise this is awesome this is really cool now um, i actually seen on there where you could add these so thank you so much this is this is cool this is a a nice surprise so set you aside so it comes in a a uh, nice box no other markings except for wormwood's crest sigil on the uh, front there very nice looking i like that minimalist look and boom that is that is cool so there's that there is that red oak come out relinquish your goodies so that's a nice tight fit on there. So there's the front or the top of it with the uh, crest and then wormwood. And then you, oh, so, yep. It's a uh, magnetic. So it sits in there. Very snug, secure. Uh, very nice feel and finish to it. Oh, that smells good. And inside you can see on top and bottom they have that that padding so you're not going to be scuffing up your dice or your tray and since they have so graciously added a couple of dice in there let's add that in there sorry about the mic let's give it a try that is that is awesome. They're not clinking around together. They're nice and snug and secure. Oh, that is really cool. That is awesome. It looks like that is easily easily removable if you so want to remove it. So that's cool. So if you ever need to replace it or I know at my fair share of gaming tables we've had we've had liquids of various kinds slosh all over the table so if that gets wet it can easily be cleaned off and that replaced so libations that get spilled that is really cool i really 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 like that that is awesome the craftsmanship is is very nice like i said i wish i could have got the whole system the uh, dice tower, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, tray and the dice vault. Well, I got the dice vault. So anyway, before I ramble on, um, look at this again. So I did, I did pledge at the 25. I was surprised with the uh, dice that came with it. Uh, originally they had pledged of 10,000 and they just made just under 250,000. So that is awesome. That is another a, another Kickstarter success story for these guys. That is really cool. And I did um it was a 5 month delivery at your at your door in time for Christmas, so Merry Christmas to me. And uh, congratulations, Wormwood. This is awesome. I hope this turned into a huge success for you. I hope your company is thriving in what they're doing. And I look forward to seeing more of your um, Kickstarter, if you plan to do any more. I think the first one was Dice Vault, then there's the Dice Vault system. And I think the other one was uh, for miniatures. I think it was like a vault for miniatures. Uh, full bio. There we go. Three created.
Sorry, I don't mean to make this so long. So the Dice Vault, a handcrafted wooden case for gaming device, or dice. And then the one I um, participated in, the Wormwood Magnetic Dice Tower System. And then I think the last one they did was Wormwood Hero Vault, built to carry your gaming essentials. So uh, there you have it. This was um, the uh, Wormwood Magnetic Dice Vault or actually for the full system, but I was only able to get this. And I'm very pleased and I'm very happy for their success. So uh, congratulations, Wormwood. Um, fellow gamers, table toppers, dice rollers, if you have a favorite set of dice, definitely look into to Wormwood Gaming. These are really cool. Um, I could definitely see going to gaming sessions and stuff with showing up with this opening up and having my favorite set of dice in there that is matter of fact sorry i'm just making this video way longer than it needs to be but i want to see what these are like in there i'm just grabbing random dice i don't know whose i grabbed And, wow, perfect. So there's a whole set in there. There's a D20 in there, and then there's the other two. So there is plenty of room. Oh, let's see, what do you think for? So almost two sets in there. So nice combination of dice that you can actually place in there. Looks like this one is missing. I don't know if that's just a spare set. But um, anyway, before I'm rambling on, uh, my name is Illusions. This has been the um, Illusions Nerdery. And uh, thank you for watching. Definitely go out and buy them if you're a dice lover. Really cool product. Thank you. Bye.